Hello YouTubers. This is my setup. As you can see here, this is my GPS holder and charger. I got here my phone holder and charger. Both of them are wired connected directly to the accessory plug here, located underneath the seat. And I have this dual port USB charger and battery voltmeter. Let me show you. In this video I will present the key steps of electrical wire connection for USB charger and then for the GPS and phone charger. First of all let's see what solutions are there for USB charging. One obvious alternative would be an original Honda part, but unfortunately this is not a USB connector. Honda does not provide a USB charger, only this 12 volt cigarette lighter type connector. It will cost you around 21 bucks overseas. Interestingly in Europe it's around 36 euros. There are also aftermarket versions, for example this one here for 3.3 euros or this one here for about 3 euros. But my problem with these connectors is that you need an additional adapter like this one here for 11 euros in order to use as USB chargers. And to be honest, I do not like it. I'm looking for a two in one solution like this one here. I especially like this part because it has this little voltmeter that gives you information about the state of your battery or even your battery charging system. I decided on this version and ordered this one. The choice of motorcycle mobile phone holder is quite large, but what I want is a phone holder that is sufficiently robust and has a built-in wireless charger. This is a phone holder that I think can meet my expectations, so I bought it. The GPS holder is a simple thing, because most GPS are sold together with the holder charger. So my Garmin Zumo GPS also came with this holder charger. In my experience these are very well thought out, easy to install, high quality devices. I will remove the seat, the cover, the cowl and then proceed with the wiring. Let's remove the seat. That's easy peasy. Here we are. Then comes the cover and the cowl. Here we are. There is a push-in rivet, this one here. I will remove first this. Then I will remove this screw, this one. Here you can see. Then this one, this screw. And this one I will only loosen this. After then you can remove the cowl. In order to push in that rivet I will use this tiny allen key. The center of the rivet should be pushed in and then you can remove it. Here it is. This is how it works. The rivet is installed in this position. Then you push in the middle pin and you can pull out the rivet. To install the rivet you pull out the middle pin, insert the rivet, push in the middle pin. And that's it. This is how it works. I will start with this screw.
Okay. The first screw. Now, let's proceed with this one. Here we are. Now comes this one. Okay. We got it. And this one I will only loosen. That's it. Okay. And now, carefully, we will try to remove the cowl. Be careful, do not force, do not break something. Around the cowl there are about nine fastening points. Maybe two of them are a kind of velcro and the rest are some clips. Okay, we are almost there. This last one on the top, you have to push it down like that. Okay, because of the crash bar, it's gonna be a bit difficult to me, but it's not impossible. And now you have to remove that cable. Okay, let me do it. It's down. Now let me show you the fastening points. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's a velcro. Eight. There's a nine one. And now pay attention here. This is the connector which comes from the factory for your 12 volt accessory socket. And together with the cable behind it is fastened the connector to that point. So I will remove it in order to have an easy access to the cable during my work using this tweezer like that and now let's remove this uh, connector like this now pull okay there we got some silicon plugs for water protection let's remove it okay and now all what you need is the metallic terminal, female terminal to make the connection there. Okay, now we have access to that connection point. So as a next step we need to make the wiring of the USB port to, to this connection port. Okay, let's try to fit the USB port okay hmm. there is going to be some problem it seems that this port will not fit into the hole the port seems to be a bit larger the module is definitely larger than this hole here let me show you I can't push into the hole completely this module exactly the size of the thread which makes it larger okay let me check meantime what is the required length of the wire okay from there to here it's about 20 centimeter yes that should be okay I will use this Dremel to enlarge the hole
Hooray! It's done. Meantime, I cut the wires, make the crimping, and uh, now we just have to install the wires. That's the positive. This is gonna be the negative. Okay, like that. And let's fasten it. I will use a voltmeter in order to check which is the negative and which is the positive terminal. That pin is the negative. The green wire is the negative. Now I will check if there is voltage on the terminals. No, there is no. Now I will turn on the switch key and check again. Mm, yes, there we have a voltage 12 volts. So negative goes to the negative. That is the negative. And pay attention to the orientation of the terminals as well. Otherwise, you can't push in. Yes, that's the proper orientation. And let's push in the positive wire as well and seal it. Let's plug in. Okay. And now comes the big moment. Great, it works. With this, we have completed the electrical cable installation work for the USB port. Here I got these two cables, one for the GPS power and the other one for the phone charger. Both are connected to this plug, which is connected to this connector under the seat. This is a factory pre-installed connector operated by the ignition key similar to the USB port. The connector will require two Sumitomo male terminals, silicon seals and the crimping tool. I threaded this electric cable threader under the fuel tank. The two cables are attached to it and I will use it to pull the electric cables all the way up to the devices. Let's get started. So the cables run under the fuel tank and are already here at the steering gear. And now let's plug in the connector. And that cable should go up right there. Here we are. And now let me remove this cable threader. It's done. Okay, and now comes installing the GPS mount. Okay. 
So far everything is fine and dandy. Let's try it. Yes, it works. And now all that remains is to connect this cable to the phone holder. Reassemble the cowl and the core. And finally, the seat. We are done. The system is ready for use. This concludes this video. Open road and safe ride.